Well, good morning, Fog. Good evening or good afternoon, depending on whereabouts you are. It's lovely to see you again. And thank you for popping over just to see what I got for the family food shop for the week ahead. So as you can see there, we went to Sainsbury's for another wee click and collect order. I spent just under £90 in Sainsbury's and popped along to the local butcher for a couple of things as well. So that's the receipt there. But I will pop the prices up as we go because I know a lot of you like to see the prices. And I did go yesterday yesterday and I was planning on getting this video up yesterday but I'm just so I'm so far behind I'm back in front again which is weird and a bit of a funny mood today so you'll have to forgive that so let me go and show you what I picked up so I've got our usual yogurts I've got you know quite a lot of yogurts still there so I got these and I think these are phenomenal value you know 75 pence and these are the bigger tubs and they taste really nice I got some butter again. I've got quite a lot of butter still there, but I like to pick one up because we do use it. And also a wee brown loaf. I haven't had this one for ages, so I picked that up. And then Mr. Watts for Tea's Bran Flakes. Yeah, I can't stand these things. They taste just like cardboard to me. <laughs> And also a couple of bunches of bananas. Do you say bunches or do you say hands? Because when I call them hands of bananas, you know, people say, what are you talking about? So yeah, a couple of bunches of bananas and also a couple of packs of this Caesar salad. You know, we've been loving this over the past few months and it makes such a lovely lunch. And you don't have to add chicken, but obviously if you add chicken, it would make it a chicken Caesar salad and it's just so quick and easy. Some Jersey Royals, you know, these are beautiful potatoes. Kate from the Kitchen Spy loves these, yeah, and they are wonderful. They've got such a unique flavour. And a big bag of our usual Maris Piper potatoes. I like these ones for roast potato or mashed potato, which we have quite a lot. <laughs> A wee swede and also a cauliflower as well. I'll probably end up doing cauliflower cheese with that. And then the world's smallest head of broccoli. Yeah, <laughs> broccoli. And then a bag of parsley. I'm going to be doing a fish pie during the week, so I'll use that and that. And also a big bag of carrots. I don't know where my carrots go. I seem to use so many. Same with onions, they just disappear. And then some leeks again. I'm going to be doing a homemade soup and also the fish pie, so I'll use the leeks in that. And then a couple of packs of this Bavarian smoked ham. I haven't had this one for ages either and it is really tasty. It's got a lovely natural smoky flavour. Just beautiful. And then some bacon medallions. Something else I haven't had for a wee while and I like a couple of slices of this on some toast or something. I'm the only one that likes bacon medallions actually. Everyone else prefers normal bacon, whatever normal is. And then a mixed pack of peppers. These, again, just so versatile for salads or sandwiches or even just for snacking on. This tuna here was excellent value. This was £5 and it's down to £3 just now. And it's the ready-drained tuna steaks. And yeah, amazing, you know, value. £5 it was and yeah, £3. So if you like your tuna, recommend you pick that one up if you're in Sainsbury's. And then my yeah, usual cayenne pepper, I'm just about out of that. So I picked up a jar of that and also these jalapenos. I noticed that old El Paso do jalapenos as well. So I got the two just to compare and see if there are any differences. There probably won't be any difference other than, you know, the, the difference in the price because of the branding. And then some fry light, I was just about out of that. And then some sweet corn because I was completely out of that. And this is the one that we like. And then these chips, I thought I'd ordered frozen chips. And it turns out I'd ordered these uh, sort of chilled chips. And I've done this before and I've done it again. My usual shawarma kebab. I love this. And a wee, um, I was going to say naan bread. No, what's what are they called? Pita bread. I put some of this in a pita bread with some salad and peppers and lettuce. And it's just lovely, you know, as a meat free sort of alternative. This is the fish for the fish pie. I do like to go to my local fishmonger for fish, but I've just had not, not had the time. So I got this one and it is the dyed one, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'll do for a fish pie. And then some gammon steaks. We're all going to be having these one night. So I picked up four of them. And then Mr. Watts for Tea's favourite biscuits just now are these choco libnies. And these are the orange ones. They come in dark and milk. So yeah. And then a six pack of baked beans and we get the no added sugar ones and then some digestives as well just for the biscuit drawer and i've been loving alpen you know the last or alpen <laughs> the last couple of weeks so i picked that one up for me and whoever else wants it <laughs> not, 
not just for me, but for anyone that wants it. These tomatoes I thought were good value, 35p. The ones I normally buy are a pound. So I just wanted to see, you know, if there's any difference. And then some pineapple slices for the gammon steaks and some frozen peas because, as you know, we do like our frozen peas and they go with everything. <laughs> Mr. Watts for Tea's marmalade, he's the only one that likes the marmalade and these wee hand washes were down to a pound so I've got three of these and they're just uh, different flavours or scents, I don't suppose they are flavours because you're not going to eat them are you, different scents, so yeah they're down to a pound just now and then some vinegar, I use this for the windows and it does a fantastic job and a wee can of sugar free Red Bull for me and I've seen these and I've never actually picked them up before and I've, I, I, you know, I do see other people with them so I thought I'd give them a go. Wee Jasper's food that he's been enjoying the last few months and from the local butcher I've got a wee steak pie, we do like a butcher's steak pie, you know they're just wonderful and handmade and ever so tasty. So this is the smaller one and this one is £6 and I also got some mince as well so probably going to be having mince and tatties or maybe a bolognese or a shepherd's pie or something so that was everything that i picked up this week like i said i felt as though i got a fair amount there for the money and there were a lot of things that we didn't need and we got a milk delivery as well so you wouldn't usually see me with milk if you do see me with milk it's usually for a recipe or something like that but just before i go and move on even <laughs> i wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over in my Patreon page and to the new channel members here on YouTube as well. So thank you once again guys, it's very much appreciated. So I'm going to go now in case I start rambling again but I'll be back later on for Meals of the Week so hopefully I will see you back for that. If not I'll be back during the week with another wee recipe and I'm expecting my Degusta box as well. So if you like to enter the monthly giveaways make sure to come back for that but whenever you choose to join me again, mind to have a wonderful rest of your day and a brilliant rest of your week and I'll catch you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.